Well, it sure feels like spring today after yesterday. What's up, you guys? Central Park Joe out here. Just finished up my workout out here in beautiful Central Park. Today really is gorgeous. Um, workout today was an interesting one. It was burpees and ring knee raises. And so what I did was I did a set of 10 burpees and I did 10 knee raises, 15 burpees, 10 knee raises, 25 burpees, 10 knee raises, 50 burpees, 10 knee raises. And I repeated that four times. So it's 400 burpees and 10, 20, 40, 40 160 knee raises. And then uh, finished up. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? So oh. then I finished up with a few uh, uh, ring rows as well, just to kind of balance out all the pushing that I was doing. Um, I really want to come on here and talk to you guys about the concepts of inspiration, motivation, things like that, and how those are perishable, uh, perishable attributes. And what I mean by that is, say you're watching me talk about working out or you're watching me work out and video ends and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go out there and kill it like Central Park Joe. And then you get distracted somehow by whatever, real life, work, something else on the internet. And then poof, it's gone. All that inspiration's gone. It's perishable. It's, it's, it's certainly not a sustainable, um, situation uh, like discipline is but um, what provides that spark to go from being complacent or go from being making excuses for not exercising or not doing something to crossing over onto that other side that's where inspiration and motivation to me come in it's that little bit of a spark that you know kind of when you're right on the edge of either I'm gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. And then you kinda maybe see a video or maybe hear me talking or, or whomever and say, you know what, okay, I'm ready. Um, it's a story about my daughter when she was, a, couldn't have been more than two or three years old. And I took her to a, uh, a little fair and they had pony rides. So she was all gung ho about going on the pony. She wanted to get on the pony and go for a ride. So put her up on the pony and there was that split second where all of a sudden, like a look of horror came over her face. Like she went from to, and the instructor was really cool. The woman was like, go. And she made the pony walk. And with that, my daughter broke through to the other side and just had the time of her life on this pony. And it's kind of a lot of, of, of that same thing that happens out here. It's the same concept where like you're, you're like right on the edge there. And it's like, then all of a sudden you just take that step. You just break through. And then you start feeling good. And then you become really like looking forward to feeling good and, and doing good and looking good and whatever motivates you. But, uh, well, those are just some of my musings today, but I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about this. And uh, I'll post the workout down below once again. And sorry for everybody who's commented and said that I should be posting these and I will. Um, love all you guys. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Thank you so much for all of your um, kind words and uh, for subscribing and liking and sharing all this stuff around. See you guys in the next one. Love all you guys.